to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. A spiritual curriculum you must pass through to really walk in favor. It's one of the biggest mistakes again we make in church because we teach people that favor is unmerited. That favor just happens when God wants to favor you. But it's not true. It's not true, my brothers. Let me tell you this. It is not true. Favor is merited. There is a dimension of favor that operates as though unmerited. But when you truly know what favor is and how it works, you know that it is merited. Merited there does not mean everything, even your obedience is done by the grace of God supplied. You don't have the power to walk in it. Favor is not unmerited. Don't insult any man of God and don't look down on any man of God you hear teaching and saying is unmerited. That's not what I'm teaching you. You may buy into his understanding and find out that we are saying the same thing. But then I can tell you this. If you are under this leadership and you want results in your life, understand that favor is merited. I've taught you this. That favor is a child that a pregnant woman gives birth to. Right? Proverbs 13 and verse 15. Good understanding giveth or bringeth forth favor. And it says the way of the transgressor is hard. Good understanding is like a woman. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15. Good understanding is like a pregnant woman. She can give birth to a child and the Bible names that child favor. Transgression is also like another pregnant woman that can give birth to a child. And the name of the child is hardship. Hardship is predictable. There is, there is an exact gestation period and you give birth to something that you name. Unfortunately, it's life that names it. Hardship, that's the name of your child. Favor, that's the name of your child. So when you tell people favor is unmerited, they just sit down and say, okay, so what do I do? And then they just sit down and say, okay, God, just favor me. And nothing will happen most people have not tasted what the bible calls favor i've said it again and again that most of what we call favor is breakthrough favor is only favor if it is repeated if it happens just once in a while or once in a long while that's breakthrough that's not favor it's true are we together so when you need favor jesus is teaching us in the temple that you must be taught that there is something called the acceptable year of the lord ah. i know there's more that's found in you be careful be careful what becomes the foundation of your spiritual knowledge and don't be ashamed to open yourself for change many times we are loyal to our current level that even in the face of truth we would rather be loyal to where we are than sustain the flexibility to move to where we need to be i have absolute disloyalty for error i'm not ashamed when i find out that there is a need for adjustment and correction just because you held on to a, a truth or a light all your life the moment you find the truth you see your loyalty you feel like you are betraying your convictions and we will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you and i will never yell will never settle for less Sing it one more time. We will never. 
Many of us may have innocently learned that automatically demons just leave themselves out of you. It may be an honest knowledge you have sustained for a long time. You see that? By very well-meaning men and women of God, from a very sincere heart, that's why knowing God is powerful. You need flexibility to know God because you will know things about him that will, it will be like deliverance from a cult. Now, how do I come out of this knowing that all my life, this is what I have believed in? I shared with you a story years ago about a gentleman, fine, smart man of God who for a long time held the view that, look, was impossible demons cannot influence people etc etc and he held on to that and he was a very sincere person lovely fine nice gentleman and i remember when he came to see me in my room then as soon as i saw him i saw a spirit standing behind him that came with him and then i was i was trying to look for the most loving way to just tell him my brother you may need prayer no 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 no. i don't need anything i'm okay i'm all right i'm fine i'm this i said i understand i'm not about to argue with you but please this is what i'm no 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 no. this person came for counseling something is obviously wrong with his life and now i'm seeing that this is what is wrong and the gentleman will just not agree and then i pleaded with him to give me a chance to pray for him and this guy would get up like 15 minutes later shouting and manifesting and talking on under all kinds of things and then when I was done he got up I didn't look down on him I politely appreciated him for more than three days this gentleman could not be himself he went back according to him and carried his Bible he kept sending me text messages apostle so what is the meaning of this now I believe this I believe that do you cry when you buy a better phone do you feel bad when you be buy a better phone? No. Don't be ashamed when you are open to truth that is new, but truth it is. Just because it's not something that has been captured in your experience. That's why you must have meekness and flexibility. The goal is not to create argument and to, no, 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 no. If I find out that what I believe now is wrong, I will be glad to repent and find out what the truth is and in all honesty come and tell you i apologize i've seen better now i will not be ashamed to say it but my brothers and my sisters let me tell you god has granted us the grace to prove some things and these things we teach are not suggestions are we together yes. favor will not come upon you just because you want it the gospel must be preached you must sit down and you must be taught the systems that activate favor and then when the teaching comes there is an empowerment is usually light and grace light grace light grace full of grace and truth 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 that's how it works when the truth comes upon you then the level of grace to demonstrate that dimension you have had is given to you is someone learning tonight i'm saying this because most of us are in these three categories tonight trusting god you came for a miracle service because you are tired of all the things that have happened around your life and are happening some of us have come because we are trusting lord can you look down on me with favor and i'm showing you jesus himself teaching at the temple that's why they marveled at him 20 let's look at verse 20 20 of luke chapter 4 we're praying shortly luke i'm um, 20 now i'm 20 let's look at verse 20 and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister so there was a man of god there before him and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 let me add 21 and he began to say unto them these days this scripture fulfilled in your ears when you read down the bible says they marveled at him saying what what doctrine is this is this not joseph's son where did he learn this one from now 
you must know something new to rise to a new level what you know has brought you where you are and if you stay there you will continue to recycle your results you must contend for light and glory and truth that's why i sang that song and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in I told you for many years demons used to oppress me remember my story as a man of god i went to many people sincerely let me tell you this by god's grace i tell you this i'm a student of knowledge there are few people that study and read like me i say it with all humility and so i read lots of books that propose so many things and i walked in those things yet these spirits would not leave me as a man of god they would oppress me i would go to bed and they would oppress me sometimes even in the midst of fasting like it's happening to many of you i will round up the fast as i'm rounding up the fast the same experience will happen again i said what i mean what is this is it, will it be honest that i don't have faith eventually i found out what was wrong and god helped me in that area and that's why i continue to trust god to help people in these areas May God, may God grant you the grace to prove what you know. Amen. Not just to say what you know. This is a prayer you will appreciate in the nearest future. May God grant you the grace to prove what you know. Amen. Because the end of all argument truly is results. Consistent results are proof that mastery has been gained. Are we together? And tonight the Lord wants to visit us. Like Benga shared, it's a buffet. A buffet of fat things. He has set the table before us. For yours, it may not be that there's an infirmity you are trusting God for. But there is a level of favor. Listen, God has declared by his spirit that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Genesis 17 and verse 6. And I will make you exceeding fruitful, he says. And nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins one of the keys i taught you that sponsor extraordinary fruitfulness is the favor of god this one everybody must cry it and you must receive it if every miracle service is dedicated to releasing favor it will be worth it because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters happy is a man whose jealousy the, the, when the jealousy of God zooms on you, you become a fearful wonder, even to yourself. It's true. It's true. You stand back and watch in shock and wonder and say, God, what are you doing? It's not unmerited. It is empowered, but not unmerited. There is an active contribution through knowledge and faith that brings it. And tonight I believe that in the name of Jesus Christ, within the few minutes, we have a very quick work to do tonight. There are many of us seated here. The truth is that there are spirits around your life and behind the situations of your life. And it does not matter. Trust God that they will leave you. There are others, your miracle service began while I was teaching because now you are gaining understanding so this is why these things continue to be repeated in my life but there are others the mountain that stands before you is a mountain of complete disfavor if in three days no one helps you something is wrong the favor of god is not on you 72 hours is too much for heaven to not respond to you forgive me if this sounds arrogant you will know it's true I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I will come to you. I will come to you. You get up in the morning, Lord, thank you. And there's all kinds of favor daily loading you with benefits. And I'm not just talking finance. Finance is not the only expression of favor. It's a needed one, but not the only expression of favor. When God lifts men to make your life easy, you are trusting God for a new dimension in the spirit. Someone goes out of his way and gets a book by an author you do not know and comes to give you and that book is teaching on the anointing in a way you have never seen that's favor 
it doesn't always have to be money when we say favor people think money you are trusting god for a realm of the prophetic and then god grants you access to a man of god you never would have had access to and one impartation brings you into that realm it is favor the absence of hardship is the proof of favor let me sing this song again before we pray don't join me listen and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you favor found in him new levels of grace found in him that you step into a meeting as a man of god and you know that principalities and powers yokes thrones dominions are about to be subdued it's not a suggestion you are not guessing you are standing from a pinnacle of light and no power in existence will sustain the ability to negate god's word upon your life a dear man of god i met you know while i was ministering great wonderful man just yesterday i met with him and he said apostle after a meeting and he said sir i've been trying to get a name for my company for weeks and for months i'm a man of god and i've been praying and i laughed because when something is within your power you see that within your power given to you by grace the same way a little child comes to say please give me pure water and you can bring out five naira because it's within your power there are some things after tonight it will be within your power it's true within your power to speak and change things within your power and i told him i said let's pray i said this night you will have the answer and by evening he calls me and says apostle i almost cannot believe this even as a man of god that i was sitting down and this is the name this is that and i told him congratulations and he said what is this and i told him that this is called the power of god the power of god is a force it produces changes the same way you are sitting quietly now your life is at the mercy of an anointing and within few minutes my brothers and my sisters I, I i never i never cease to marvel at what the anointing can do just like that just like in a twinkling of an eye and someone's burden has lifted for decades like that in in a moment and you're waiting for days in zaria will be worth it completely just like that please believe this if you're a worker in this ministry believe it don't get used to these things and allow people who come from somewhere to continue to receive and you sit down and say wow i know no let's not cheat ourselves let's be sincere god is able to do let me tell you it is within his power to surprise you tonight not just to give you miracles to surprise you it is within his power to begin to alter systems and structures this night not tomorrow this night this night the bible says every man should minister according to the measure of the grace of god given to you when you measure outside of the jurisdiction of the grace supplied it's called pride elijah said let him come naman elisha so that he will know not that there is a god in israel that there is a prophet in israel you would call that pride but the result showed it the same way you are a man of god now and in a few minutes if you are a man of god and you came here i want you to just get ready because what will come on your life it will lift you to a pedestal in the spirit that will surprise you you will walk in strange levels of glory this is by the spirit are you hearing what i'm saying now we're about to pray blessed be the name of the lord 
results are not acts of pride and arrogance they are acts of the grace and the mercy of god activated through knowledge so god takes to a new dimension we are going to do a very we will trust god for a very quick walk i took out time to teach tonight because this is the real miracle the performance all of that is it, just a touch and all of that and one prophetic word but what you are hearing now is it this alteration that is happening not just to your spirit but to your mind find out how many impartation services jesus conducted you will be surprised there were few times one of which he breathed upon them received the holy ghost but most times he camped with them for 40 days all he was doing was to teach 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 but do you not know that in the light that comes from his hand is the hiding place of his power the power of god flows through his word so when the word of god is coming now you are immersed in his glory you see that and the spirit entered me not just when he laid hands on me when he spake unto me i've taught you how the word of god works that the word of god is like a tray is carrying something you don't receive it just for the word's sake you receive it for what is on it if if i'm hungry and you serve me jollof rice you bring it on a tray is that true the first thing i receive is the tray i receive the tray with joy not because i need the tray i need the rice the word of god is a conveyor of the possibilities of god so when the word of god comes to you you are happy because of what is in it and on it he sent forth his word he sent forth his word his word of deliverance his word of of healing his word of lifting have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation can be born it says but as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son that means it's possible tonight that before the meeting is over your phone can beep and you will see something that will keep you on your knees and say lord you just answered my prayer of five years in one day how shall these things be that's the voice of unbelief we're talking god here we're not talking a man god No wonder they said, Lord, I believe. But if what I call faith is nonsense, help thou my own belief. I need help. And Jesus helped him. Men of God, let's trust God for this miracle service to bring us into new realms of glory. Let's trust God. Let's trust God. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter spiritually financially in grace in influence the path of the just shines shines don't allow people threaten you with their ignorance when people are ignorant they rob their ignorance on you and make you guilty for opening yourself up to all the dimensions of god as though you are sinning so if you open up yourself to be blessed financially they they give a body language that suggests that you too you are joining them in this thing receive the whole counsel of god it is beneficial for all of god to be seen in your life you embrace the power of god and hate his resources the pain that is on your child will tell on you and it will destroy your life i receive the whole counsel of god i receive the whole counsel if there is wealth i receive it if there is wisdom i receive it if there is grace i receive it everything that is on this table Sometimes you can be served a buffet and sometimes they can even help you to serve it and you say little of everything. Little of what? Everything. And we will never see. Now you join me. We know there's more that's found in you. Sing it from the depth of your heart. And we will never settle for us. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for us. We know there's more that's found in you. Just one prayer point tonight. Lord, my heart and my mind and my body is open to receive everything everything go ahead and pray everything oh god 
you're trusting God for a healing miracle now is the time to release your faith you're trusting God for deliverance from all kinds of oppression now is the time to believe you're trusting God for a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit believe it for it you're trusting God for a change of results Lord thank you I have evidences in my life but I need a higher level of results Lord, thank you for the prayer dimension, but I need a heavier grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amplify the gift of God in me. Amplify the grace of God in me. Amplify the supply of the spirit upon my life. I need to disciple nations. I need to become an influence over a system, over a structure for the sake of your glory. Pray, pray. Pray. Lord, I need a visitation upon my family. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? There is a compelling power that right words bring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to do it this way. We have to hurry up. We're just going to do four things this night. Number one, there will be a session of prophetic deliverance. I'll tell you what that means. I'll pray for people. I'll minister. But there are times that I'll just speak the word, the case, and then God will deal with that. Number two, I, I, if we have the time, the Lord may speak to one or two people. And then number three, we'll take time and minister the healing power of God to the sick. It's very important and then number four we'll have the time to pray on our requests and then i prophesy and speak over everyone and that will be it for the night the, the, that time will come with impartations and all of that i say this to you especially for those of you who are coming for the first time so that your heart can be open it's going to be a flow all through and i want you to participate with your heart let your heart be open by the way you can stand in for your loved ones and then those connecting online from whatever nation of the world there's no distance truly in the spirit you can receive you can believe and then god can make this true in your life hallelujah praise the lord there is a grace that i found myself releasing upon the body of christ in this season and that's what we're going to start with the lord i don't know god has been doing something in my life since january this year started is the grace for speed this is what i want to release upon our lives all through my meetings in Lagos for every meeting the Lord has instructed me to release that grace listen no matter how many times you've heard me pray it I like for your heart to be open there is real speed that can come upon the saints in this season that you will run just just run like Elijah are we together now I want to I, I want to talk to you especially for those outside the ushers will only do their best but they are limited usually when i pray this prayer and i release this grace you will find people running physically by the spirit of god there's nothing strange about it this is an operation of the spirit and i want to pray that grace right now from the depth of my heart you see that most of what we need in our lives is speed you will not complain about delay again when you have speed because it will not make any difference god has a system of forcing you to catch up and i want to pray those who are coming here for the first time let this be the first miracle that you receive in the mighty name of jesus now i stretch my hands at the count of three i declare the grace for speed i'm seeing fire coming on the feet of people at the count of three i release that anointing in all the overflows right now one my god two 
free receive that grace right now receive that anointing everywhere inside and outside i release that grace that grace for speed life comes to you and you begin to run to overtake the chariots of ahab in the name of jesus christ i release speed speed inside outside i release speed people are receiving that grace strange speed speed in ministry speed in your career receive it god is releasing it upon you no more delays no more delays by the spirit of the living god no more delays online offline localized here i stretch my hands and i prophesy that grace right now people will begin to run by the spirit i'm seeing it in the spirit and energizing of the spirit is coming on men and women speed speed i prophesy speed 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 outside overflow one overflow two overflow three by the roadside speed for you and for your family members by this grace i crush delay i crush delay i crush delay i crush delay i crush stagnation remaining in one position i judge the spirit and the force behind it in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is telling me he's still releasing that grace but now over families not just individuals you as a person may be moving forward but your family is under a strong yoke of stagnation i stretch my hands right now at the count of three may god use you as a point of contact to supply speed to your family members are you ready one two three receive that grace families families speed speed to the north speed to the south speed to the east speed to the west in the name of jesus speed to the middle belt i release you i release you i release you Habakato shalikata speed in the name of jesus i cause every power i cause every force by this grace and by this unction i release speed The Lord is showing me a purple robe. I'm seeing a purple robe in the spirit and I'm seeing it come on people. Not everybody, but there are specific people. And I believe purple in, in, in scripture is symbolic of royalty. It is a system of enthronement that is coming on certain people. Lord, I don't know where these people are. They came from miracle service, but I stretch my hands. May the anointing locate such people now and shift you into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Men robed in royalty, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, beauty for ashes. for ashes beauty for ashes pay attention to what God is doing beauty for ashes hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision of the Lord and I'm seeing people the right legs being tied with something that looks like looks like a like a bag but tied and i'm seeing on it reproach that's what the lord is seeing reproach and the lord wants to take away that luggage of reproach it may not be for everybody but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god that everything that represents a reproach in your life tonight here and now 
I release by the supply of the Spirit the grace and I cause that reproach now. 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 My God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus, man of God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ, businessman, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace for biological fruitfulness like physical i'm not not just maybe financial and all of that real to, to dislodge barrenness whether it is for you or it's for someone connected to you it's time to receive it now i'm seeing the lord is leading me to stand here just this room and i'm seeing an anointing locating people right here and taking away that yoke of barrenness i stretch my hand whether it is for you or your family members i'm just doing what the lord is asking me to do in the name of jesus may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now that if there is anyone within this role among those standing that is suffering any kind of barrenness i come against it right now i declare become a joyful mother of children a joyful father a joyful mother a joyful father a joyful mother a joyful father in the name of jesus christ The Lord is asking me to do something serious here. Now, this is an apostolic ministry and we are word-based. So whatever it is you do not understand, you rest in the fact that we work consistent with the Lord. Um, what, what God, I hope that you don't find it offensive. God is asking me to remove some money and just hold it and speak and release a grace for financial rest over people this is an instruction that's why i'm taking out time to explain so you don't misunderstand me you will be surprised to see what happens i will not ordinarily do that no we we represent we are people of integrity and this is not some superstitious manipulative thing but we are in a season of fruitfulness and god is giving me an instruction so i'm just going to do exactly what god is asking me to do just to be able to hold something and release that grace and that you have the grace to receive you'll be surprised to see what happens father i've obeyed you in charge like foolishness I stretch my hands right now let this mantle and this unction Lord let it rest on your people at the count of four that in a way you will shift them to such dimensions of supernatural supplies get ready now one two three four receive that fire right now step into that level of strange abundance in the name of Jesus Christ I place a grace upon your life. You may look weak, but in the name of Jesus, let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shabaka to Zekete Neka Barakatoj, Embregete Tekete Kosaliasa, Mantosko Barakatoj Kenekata. In the name of Jesus, I provoke over your life the grace for strange financial supplies. Don't say you don't need it. 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 In the name of Jesus, let it give you rest to serve the Lord. Let it give you the fortitude to stop begging. In the name of Jesus, and it will allow you to concentrate on the matters of the kingdom and of destiny. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people entering realms right now in the spirit entering financial dimensions it is first spiritual before physical 
Listen to me, it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Let your faith come alive. There are people entering dimensions and levels of grace and supplies and possibilities. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. Please, don't come dropping seeds out of ignorance or pressure. Please, please. I'm praying from my heart. If you don't know what you are doing, please don't feel guilty and don't feel under any kind of pressure whatsoever. Are we together? Let me tell you this, my brothers and my sisters. When God begins to speak over your life in an area, it's because he has seen what is going to befall men. And like an ark, he's creating an ark of gopher wood that represents safety. Many people in this year will languish financially. I'm telling you this. Listen, there will be a lot of cries. That's why God is releasing this grace. There will be more people backsliding as a result of lack of resources than just a demonic attack. Please, again, I plead with you. I plead with you in the name of Jesus. Do not be under any pressure. Listen, they did not keep a basket here for you to come and keep money. I'm, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so. I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so. We are committed to helping you experience God. We're not playing games with anyone's destiny. But I'm saying it again, that there are people entering strange realms. This is more than a miracle alert. This is not miracle alert. This is a realm. It's a, it's a dimension in the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I stand by this anointing again. And I shift you. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step into this realm of surprise. Step into this realm of grace. For your family. For your family. For your destiny. Step into this realm of grace. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found me. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. I know there's more that's found me. And we will never say we will never sell for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a woman outside. The Lord is showing me a woman outside. The power of God is coming upon that woman right now outside. I'm seeing that this is a woman of many sorrows. Her name is not given to me. But I'm seeing that this is a woman outside with all kinds of first financial issues and then family issues and anointing. A very strong anointing will come upon that woman. And the Lord is telling me that he is bringing upon people the spirit of revelation. It's, it's a dimension of grace. I want to pray that prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't know who they are. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands. I'm seeing fire like rings of fire just coming upon the eyes of people. I release that grace right now. Help them, please. I release that grace right now. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our Lord. Blessed is Blessed are you, O oh Lord, our Lord. It is holy. Something is coming on you. But I can't, I don't Some more come, heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the sea. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to go. But I can't deny my body.
I'm seeing like a letter and I'm seeing congratulations on it and the Lord is telling me it's a grace for jobs it's a grace for jobs please believe now it's a grace there are people who have been praying it and the Lord is asking me to count five just the, the number five and a grace will come for some you are already walking but God will lift you like the stars rising one two three four five receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus I release that grace supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies of jobs in the name of Jesus supernatural testimonies for you and for your loved ones I don't care where the job must come from but I decree and I prophesy these jobs come to you speedily in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Please. My hands are shaking. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. I'm stretching my hands. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. There are people that need to step into the healing ministry. The healing anointing. Right now, I release that grace. The healing anointing. You can't be a man of God without the healing grace. The healing anointing. Receive it from ministry. Receive it from ministry. The healing anointing. Outside overflow one. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord. There are impartations of the healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. Hey. anointing receive it you need it in the name of Jesus so you can take the healing power of Jesus to the nation in the name of Jesus Christ you are carrying that grace bodily you are carrying that grace Evidential grace for you. Hallelujah. Now I'm ready to minister deliverance. For those people, you bring them out now. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. Lift your hands. We are going to pray. We are going to read these spirits there are forces that stand the destinies of people listen please especially if this is your first time coming ah. I'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up I'm going to count three listen for those people please i want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please i want you to believe it at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here, any family, any situation here. In the name of Jesus, it's time for them to come out of their hiding place. I decree and I prophesy that at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, may the fire of God bring a separation between you and those influences. One, get ready. Two, three, shout Jesus. Come out of them now. I cast every devil in the name of Jesus and they shall cast out devils I command the spirit influences behind situations behind circumstances I command in the name of Jesus that they come out of their hiding place 
in the name of Jesus, bring them out. Spirits of ancestry, territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position, that refuse to let them rise. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a sword. And I know that sword is the word of God. I cross by that sword. Let there be a separation. That every force tying anyone's destiny. You're going to shout Jesus again. At the count of three. Be ye lifted all ye ancient gods. One, two, three. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Release their destinies. You have the covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. These hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit, many of you will feel physical fire on your hands. There will be a strange deliverance. That's why anything you do does not work. No matter if it's a business, it will fail. If it's a relationship, it will fail. Anything you lay your hands, there is a spirit that steals your joy. But right now, I challenge and I attack that spirit. Let the fire of God, right now at the count of three, separate you from that influence. One, two, three. Let them go now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory Cover us with your wings yeah. The yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, I break it now. The yoke of bad luck, receive, I'm breaking someone free from this yoke of bad luck. I break you free from the yoke of Bango in the name of Jesus. Bad luck. It works well for others until you come. And then something strange just happens. All those under the anointing here, I arrest these spirits and at the count of three, every devil you will patch your load and every trouble you have brought to these destinies and go. I speak as one sent by the anointing. At the count of three, leave one, two, three, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're so going to pray for the sick. Nata o kaka sunanka o pangi chika isaya. Na 
Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. I hear a name Janet. Janet. There's, there's no time we have. Janet. Please don't enjoy anybody. Are you Janet? Stand up. I had the name Janet. Please don't tell lies. Don't embarrass yourself. If you are not Janet, go back. Janet. Where are you from? In the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Look at me, look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. This, lift your hands lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing like oil come upon you and God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor in the name of Jesus I decree and I prophesy by the spirit over you 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 All of you standing here, for time's sake, I'm going to pray for you. One of you, um, the power of God is going to come on one of you. The moment that happens, I'll pray for everybody. I'm seeing one person, one of you. The Lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person. Not only is God bringing personal spiritual revival to you, God is opening doors of opportunity. Lord, where is that one person? I decree and declare. When that one person is identified, and then I just pray for all of you in general. I'm seeing someone in around the media where media people are, and the Lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter. And just around that vicinity of the media, I stretch my hands. May the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, rest upon the individuals within that vicinity. In the name of Jesus, that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy. I'm back to you people in front. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare, whoever that one person is, may that anointing and that grace come upon you. You will never, 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 never be the same. The power of God will come upon that one person. The moment that happens, then I'll pray for everybody. It's just the instruction God is giving me. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands towards all of you. By faith and in the spirit, I declare. For whatever reason it is that God brought you out here, I declare. I place the word of God upon your situation. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that you return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. This lady wearing dark, come. God bless you. You can go back to your seat, all of you. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Where are you coming from? from Asaba yes, the Lord is saying I should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory Amen. Oh, this will be the beginning of your days of glory step into it by the spirit in the name of Jesus you will never be the same never be the same we raise your banner Shine your light so bright. we see the honor of you. Lord, we raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We see the honor of you. Hallelujah. 
ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are in the name of jesus may the fire of the holy spirit from inside this auditorium to the overflows outside online let there be complete emancipation for such people in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear this lady wearing pink lift your hands look at me shout jesus as loud as you can i'm seeing the lord take something out of your body we're about to pray for the sick but the lord is taking something out of your body that's why i told you to shout that name in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life in the mighty name of jesus christ now very quickly our time is gone we are going to be very very fast are we together um if you are trusting god listen carefully whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three if what you have please listen if what you have is a terminal disease a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence are we together like a death sentence you know what i mean i don't have to mention names please whether you're in overflow one two three be fair be honest i will want to minister by myself to you now number two those in here you can come out and you're trusting god for healing for you or for your loved ones overflow one please to your projector stand overflow two same thing to your projector stand overflow three to your projector stand so if you do not belong to this category that i particularly requested to come please god is here make sure you are sincere make sure you are honest i like all of you to come stand i'm about to minister and there will be men and women of god scattered across those by the roadside i don't know what overflow that will be let's say an extension overflow four you will join overflow two and then there will be men of god ministering by the spirit please because of time you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i'd like you to just come believing hallelujah praise the lord in the name of jesus i decree and declare that together as a team under the anointing of the holy spirit overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now as as we pray for you worship team please help us whilst we are doing that how many of you have your prayer requests you have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening ushers pr department please join them uh and then if, if if there's a need for that maybe the protocol department can help let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately we'll be very fast please um dear people of god let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um finish up on time blessed be the name of the lord for those of you standing here i want you to believe there is a god in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in jesus name god bless you um i will just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly those online connect by faith stretch your hands here and let's pray father we decree and we declare we just have a minute for this in the name of jesus christ
Stretch your hands and prophesy. Libras Kadabrando Sharikatosia brother. The same way we are standing on these requests in the name of Jesus. This is establishing your dominion above every challenge, above every situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Rado Zakando Shalakos Kadabrehe Seneko Shalabras. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit every impossible situation here. We turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. We turn it around, believe, believe, believe. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. This is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us. A representation of your pain, your stress, that which attempts to challenge God over your life. No matter how many times we prophesy, we are limited. And this is an opportunity to have everyone. It's like tabling your heart before God. There is a God that answers prayers. This is not a ritual. That's why we bring it before him. And let me tell you, we have, we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this. And I believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness, that this that you have dropped here before the Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you have brought it before him, it will never, if it's a tragic situation, it will never return to you again. And if it is a request that must appear in your life, then I decree and declare. I don't know how it will happen. Like the prophet said, you may not see wind. You may not see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water. I prophesy, I decree and declare. In the name that is above all names, by the God of all grace, your answer will find its way to your life. Even if it means happening through your enemy or happening to a man that has vowed not to help you, may my God make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, that you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, even before this month is over, in the name of Jesus, you will tick your list one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. In the name of Jesus, we decree it so by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree it so by the blood of the Lamb. We decree it so by the word of God. We establish it. It is done in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you now. This will be um the first time we're doing this in a miracle service for the year why do i round up the services with a prophetic word because i believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of god comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word. People's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came. And now it's about to come again. Let me tell you, do you know that I listen to the miracle service messages myself and I receive all the prayers from the man of God? Just because I'm the vessel being used by God does not exempt me from receiving too. I listen to the messages and God is my witness. I follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely. Are we together now? So believe this and you will see it work in your life. It is only what you believe that will work. Are we together? Favor like never before. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from this night. May it follow you like a shadow follows a man. I say it again, favor like never before from tonight. May he follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Strange favor, strange favor, activating.
possibilities in your life. Strange favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every overdue issue in your life, an issue that has stayed long, beyond necessary, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life. May my God, the God of all grace, establish and settle you in every area. In the name of Jesus Christ, every long-standing issue comes to an end now. Everything that misrepresents you before your helpers, the spirit that creates a bad image, in the presence of those who can help and lift you there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you something happens around your life in the name of jesus it comes to an end now in the name of jesus it comes to an end now i pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can then say nor resist i decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom see this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of God will be evident on your life I stretch my hands let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now if you are in ministry, let there be a baptism of that anointing now. For every leader here, let there be a baptism of that anointing now. Everyone due for promotion, your place of work, or your standing in for your, your loved ones, I decree and declare, we announce and we establish their rising in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year. You will die during election. You will die during this and that. A crisis will happen and you will be a victim of this. I silence the voice of that spirit now. I decree and declare, whether by road, whether by air, whether through the operation of the wickedness in men remain ever exempted from death in the name of jesus may you be too late for tragedy if it will cause shame you will not be found there if it will cause pain you will not be found there in the name of jesus christ I decree that whatever it is you're involved with whether it's your career the works of your hands your business whatever it is that God uses as a channel to increase your influence to bless people and to empower you in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it Some of you at the beginning of the year your prayer life is already down it's too early your word life already down no appetite to study scripture no appetite to pray whether you sleep by eight o'clock or by ten you will still wake up by eight the next day this one is a spirit it's no longer tiredness anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by satan god gives his beloved sleep it is true but slumber is of the devil there is a difference between slumber and sleep one of the differences is control 
there are some of us even if you sleep by two in the afternoon you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up he says spirit i curse it from your life you will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to in the name of jesus christ god has declared over us but let me declare again over our finances please i will continue to see this they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo I decree and declare this is the season that you step into overflow in the name of Jesus Christ no one connected to this grace no one connected to this vision goes down financially And I pray for you, those of us who have little groups, ministries, fellowships that were helping and building other believers. And for a long time, you have seen that it's like your grace is pecked at a level. Nothing new, nothing fresh. I decree, after this miracle service, step into a new order of spiritual operation. Whatever needs to be restored in your life before February, restoration restoration to bring back i command it to your life now in the name of jesus anywhere we are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of God may you be far from that environment may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment whatever it is that you have asked the Lord that I have not mentioned here but is a desperate desire in your heart I release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me in the name of Jesus let it be turned to your testimony two more prayer points may the spiritual fire on your altar the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we fan your coals back to flames whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you Let me add one more prayer no matter where your loved ones are on this earth whether in this country or outside of this country within this continent or outside of this continent whether in health or not whether following this service or not we decree and declare may the hand the help and the favor of god locate them and even as you are receiving and celebrating testimonies May your loved ones have the same experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we glorify you. We bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm walking in the reality of every prophetic word. Thank you. I receive every grace. I receive every word. 
in the name of Jesus except if you're under the anointing I'd like us to honor in one minute we will always do this we're a ministry that believes in soul winning we believe in giving people an opportunity to meet Jesus and um, even though our time is gone necessity is laid upon us to give someone an opportunity to find God's saving grace tonight let's minimize distraction please and so for all those here sitting overflow one overflow two overflow three uh, the roadside those connecting online and those in the main auditorium you are here tonight and the Holy Spirit is ministering to you that you need to make this year different you need to give God an opportunity to start afresh with you could be that you have given your heart to the Lord but you need that assurance you truly need to rededicate your life to say Lord I'm handing over everything we have just a minute or two for you if you are sitting in overflow one two and the roadside and in here I would request you to come just stand in front here and then those at overflow three for the sake of time and distance I would request that you just walk to your projector stand and then those following online you can just follow me as I lead you through this prayer two minutes the Lord is speaking to you please summon the courage arise let's encourage them make your way to the front God bless you those coming from outside please hurry up clear the way for them please God bless you God bless you there's nothing compulsory in the kingdom but the benefits are worth the while make your way quickly someone outside is saying apostle I want to come but I'm a bit ashamed there's nothing to be ashamed of make your way run to Jesus if you're coming please come quickly there are contemplations happening in your spirit while you are sitting down you know you need to be here the devil will not ask you to be here the fact that there is a prompting to be here is a sign that the Holy Spirit is ministering to you win that war get up from your seat and come apostle what if my colleagues see me it's good they see you so that they become witnesses of your transformation make your way quickly we have just one more minute for you for those of you clapping in the name of Jesus this is how many will honor you because you are committing yourself to encourage those who are coming to Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you so much I understand that in the day and age that we live in it takes a lot of courage to be very vocal on a decision like this we live in a time where people pride themselves in being sarcastic they pride themselves in laughing at others especially when you are doing something spiritual Jesus said whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away I honor and I truly celebrate all of you for the courage to stand even in the presence of everyone May I request that you just lift your right hand as a sign of surrender and repeat this truthfully after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I hand over my heart, my mind, my body, my life to your Lordship. I declare that you are Lord of my life I declare that I exchange my life for your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken over my life now and forever amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you for these precious ones they have made a decision for many of them the first time for many of them securing their eternal destinies i decree and i declare that the grace that helps people to stand to thrive and to excel in this kingdom may that grace come upon you i open you to the ministry of the holy spirit 
and the ministry of the word that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified i plant in you tonight a fresh hunger and passion for the things of the spirit in the name of jesus christ and i declare i dissociate you from anything that can impede your spiritual growth may you enjoy the help of god in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you dear brothers and sisters let me request that you follow there's a lady waving her hands please all of you follow her in concert she will lead you to a committee that will welcome you more formally on our behalf is this the best you can do koinonia blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 